What's up? This is Brandon Bond again. The question was posed, if you could ask anything you want to know in the whole world about fucking tattooing, what do you want to ask? And we got some weird fucking questions. Well, I can tell you right off the bat that the word Vaseline jumps out of it. We got some really good questions, we got some bizarre questions, we got some questions that don't make any fucking sense. How much of a tattoo do you saturate with just white? That is a great question because we catch a lot of shit for that. People think that we have so much white in our tattoos it's never gonna hold up. But let me tell you a little secret. So, you guys made this video. This is your video. Uh, I have a list that my staff's bringing out of a whole lot of motherfucking questions covering all aspects of tattooing. Can you talk a little about tattooing necks? I find it, it's a nightmare to get color to stick on necks. So any help there would be great. Yes, as a matter of fact, necks are hard. Necks are one of the hardest uh, body parts to tattoo. I hate tattooing necks, but it's always cool when it's a finished product, so it's worth it. You, know, you have to be way more thorough in making sure every bit of your color goes in, but you have to do it without one. That is an excellent question. Uh, to be honest with you, the, the most key aspect of that for me is... There's a lot more that you can just trick right out of the picture, you know what I mean? Because you're drawing something on paper, trying to make sure you draw every last little bit of it, but when you throw that shit on somebody's arm... It don't work. It don't always <laughs> work. The truth is, this is not a replacement for apprenticeship. This is not a shortcut to tattooing, because if you're not already a tattoo artist, you're not gonna understand half the fucking shit we're about to talk about. All right, so one of the main questions that I get often is the throw of the machine. Now, a lot of the questions that we've received are about tattoo machines. And I have new, exciting information that has changed since the whole enchilada volume one. And this one, my be all end all answer for everything was <laughs> However, there's new information. Um, one of which is The majority of the clients that I tattoo sit 10 to 15 hours every day. Um, the only way that I can achieve that is by... Okay, now that's a simple question that a lot of people are going to know the answer to, but we're going to take that to the next level and we're going to talk about tattoo conventions in general. How do we not only get booths at conventions and rock the house at conventions, but how do we win the most awards? First of all, one thing I want to discuss in Link is tattoo ink. One of the main questions we got was about ink. And ink is extremely important to every tattoo artist on earth. If we're going to discuss it more. We're going to actually talk about some new inks that, that just hit the market and that are about to hit the market. Um, so we'll start with the most important of all colors. Inks. Inks. <laughs> This is the fucking pigment, man. It's definitely my favorite one I've been using so far. It goes in like butter. And it's fucking no easier red to put in. They've got three different reds, and they're all totally, completely different fucking tones. And you can step that down from one to the next to the next, and then put just a little bit of an orange on the edge. And it has this really bright sherbet fade. It's fucking incredible. For flesh tones, that's a hard one. That's one we got a lot of questions about. Uh, flesh tones, everybody's got like 30 recipes. Um, has a flesh tone type color. Another question we get a lot is what needles do you use and when? We got flooded with bug pens questions and taper questions and, and all that. The truth is, how can I get a job at all or nothing? Well, uh, we, can, we can change that and say, how can I get a job at any really dope shop? Let's just apply it to all studios, because Lord knows there's plenty of really good studios. I think more than anything, what I look for in a new artist is... How do other tattooers deal with days when it seems nothing goes right? Yeah. I told them it was great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nothing ever fucking goes right, man. Welcome to the fucking job. Yeah, it's you tattooing. Know what I mean? It's supposed to suck. <laughs>